This video is about to be really painful, so let's just get right into it. In our last challenge video, our top comment was from Z, saying that he wants to get to as high a round as we can using only the ZRG with no Pack-A-Punch, and the only perk we can use is Jug. So basically, this is just use the worst class you can think of and try to get as far as you can. And to make this class as bad as possible, we're going to use Energy Mine as my field upgrade here. I think I've probably used Energy Mine maybe once, like probably my first ever game of playing Cold War Zombies. Actually, let's check. So let's go to Combat Records, Zombies, Field Upgrades. Okay, well, I, I guess it's just my second least used field upgrade. I've only used it 138 times. I've used Healing Aura less than that somehow, but still only 138 kills with this thing that is bad and since we can't use pack a punch i tried to make this thing as high damaging as possible and for our barrel we have the sigma special here also for my muzzle i'm using the infantry stabilizer to help with the sway and to balance out me using high damage attachments i went ahead and threw on the hangman rf optic like the worst possible optic for zombies i have the tiger team spotlight here for more salvage the six round fast mag i'm trying out the serpent wrap today and the raider stock they did not pick what map they wanted us to play on so i get the to pick and i think i'm gonna choose mauer i think we can do mauer that's doable let's hop on here and see how far we can get also if you have a challenge you want to see me do go ahead and leave it down in the comments below our top comment from this video will be the next challenge that we do okay here we go drop it on into probably the worst game of zombies i'm ever gonna play and despite that i'm actually kind of excited for this i want to actually see how far we can go what kind of strats we can come up with here i've seen this comment for a few days and i've been trying to think of like strategies and everything to use and i think what i'm gonna do is here in these early rounds i'm gonna try to knife as much as possible you know per usual but i'm gonna try to get my field upgrade as early and often as possible as well and i think what i'm gonna do is try to set up energy mines in certain areas where i know zombies aren't spawning at and then i will try to lead a train to it because it's gonna get to a point where the zrg is not gonna be able to kill anything and we're gonna need to have some way to progress in rounds and in the challenge they didn't outright say no ammo mods but since i said no pack a punch i'm gonna say i can't even touch the pack a punch machine so there'll be no shatter blast cheesing for me today the only time i can use an ammo mod is if it gets dropped on the ground by something but i don't think there's anything like that here on this map because we're playing on d machine we could go into the dark aether go hit the crystals up and see if one drops but that's probably not happening here honestly i think since we don't really have to work towards getting power on or getting pack a punch on we can stay in this first room for quite a while maybe we will dip out of the first room somewhat soon here because we do need jug or well, i guess we don't need it but that's the one perk we're allowed to have and you know i'll take any help where i can get it how many energy mines can you store is it like two just two or does it go to three? Oh, it does look like energy mine max is out at two. Good to know. There's one thing on this map that kind of concerns me. I know we'll probably be able to take out the zombies, like even at a, like a decently high round. You know, I think energy mine can like one shot kill or at least do a decent amount of damage to them. So I'm not concerned about them. But when a panzer shows up is when I'm going to be a little scared. I think the ZRG might do a decent amount of damage to it. Uh oh, not with pack a punch. I almost just went down right there. This is only round six. I'm fumbling. But if this thing cannot do like decent damage to a panzer, we might be screwed. And I think we're going to get a panzer round soon here. So I'm going to start making my way down. We'll just start getting the map opened up. I can still grab loose change from these perk machines, even if I can't use them. And you know what? I'm going to throw out my prediction for how far I think I'm going to get in this. And I'm going to say, I think I can probably make it to round 40. I think round 40 is pretty decent. I think we can make it that far. Let's see how this does against a special zombie. Where's this Tempest at? There it is. Okay. Can't one shot a Tempest. I'm very hurt. 55 health. Uh-oh. There we go. Give me that fuse. You know, let's try out energy mine. Let's run this way. So I have to come through this doorway. I'm going to throw one down right here. Uh, we need to turn on power to grab jug, but... Ooh, that's a decent amount of kills. I didn't know it went off that much. Okay. Maybe I've misjudged energy mine. Maybe my lack of uh, using it has made me think it was bad. But it is only round seven, so that's yet to be seen. Okay, let's throw on the switch. Put in our first fuse. Let's open this up. Tempest spawn in. Ooh, broke armor. Oh my god, it takes so long to shoot. Oh, come on, please. If I miss a shot, it takes four to five business days before I can shoot again. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. No, do not knock me. I will be so mad. Take an energy mine, please. All right, let's get power on so we can start using some armor stands and grab jug. There's the fuse, there's the lever. Oh! And okay, we need armor now for whenever I miss a shot. 
I can be able to survive a few hits. I guess armor level one will do for now. Let's head up here, grab a quick loose change, and we'll grab Jug, our only perk for today. Oh, wait, there's bunny parts in this? I completely forgot about those. I forget there's a bunny Easter egg on this map. I've hardly done it. And I think I'm going to leave our boys just floating here for the whole game. Just to prove that I haven't gotten Pack-A-Punch. And they just look pretty cool. And we're not even going to be able to use our Klaus strat today. Where we just have Klaus sit and revive us. Because if we wanted to build them, we need to get his hands that are right here. And to get those, you need Brain Rot. And since we can't use the Pack-A-Punch machine, we cannot use Brain Rot. Pretty unfortunate. Get him, energy mine. Thank you. All right, we made it through the first 10 rounds. <laughs> That's an accomplishment for me. Oh, there's our first panzer. Where you at, buddy? Let me get some shots in on you before you get over here. Where'd you spawn at? Oh, there you are. Okay, that does not do too much. I think I just pissed it off. Oh, no. The time between shots is so long. Watch this. Shoot. One, two, three, four. Four full Joe counting seconds. Oh, this is bad. I'm going to try to limit my ZRG use usage as much as I can. We did kind of just slap that Panzer though. That took four shots. I think if we hit all headshots on that, it, it would have taken less. But even though we can't build a Klaus, we can at least grab his battery. These zombies will allow me. Thank you. Please. Thank you. This would be so much better if snipers could actually crit or collapse more than two zombies at a time. But no. They can't. They're all lined up here. You shoot one, only two kills. Ridiculous. I should be able to get like a whole 15 line of zombies killed. Just in one shot. Are there any zombies surviving this shot though? It does not look like it. Can we upgrade anything? Let's get our armor up. We got it at two now. And we have a disciple. Come on. Take one. There we go. I want to start figuring out what spot I can store my energy mines at. And I think I should just do like a few different spots. Spots where like zombies aren't currently spawning. So I don't want one to accidentally set one off. I want to just have an area to go to when I have them all trained up. You know, like a little emergency escape route. And I think over there by the rope is probably the safest spot. So let's go ahead and grab another energy mine. There we go. I'm going to toss it down right over here. Try to keep the zombies away from it. And then forever in a pickle, we can try to run over there. But for now, we'll just take them out with this one. Easy. So that might be our strat. We're going to train around and get as many kills as we can until our field upgrades filled up and then try to get them as an, a tight of a train as possible and take them out with one energy mine. Ooh, a nuke. That's exactly what I want to see through these challenges. Easy way to get through rounds. Uh oh, our energy mine went off. Maybe that's not a, as safe as a spot as I thought. Now let's test to see if our uh, strat will work here. I do have an energy mine filled up. I'm going to get every zombie that's in the round right now all in one nice, neat little group. And let's throw this down and see what happens. Oh, they all died. Energy mine's kind of insane, actually. Have I been sleeping on energy mine this whole time? Let's put some pep in our step. I'm putting on the rampage inducer. Oh, I forgot about tormentor rounds. We get a free round. Let's go, BB. It was like a free space on a bingo card. Oh, that one almost killed me, actually. Or it have the potential to. All right, this is our first Rampage Inducer round with a Panzer. How much damage are we doing to him? Ooh, not a whole lot. And we have to basically stop to shoot him. That Flamethrower does not feel good. Well, let's see what an Energy Mine can do to him. Let's try to get as many zombies trained up first as we can, though. We want to get as much bang for our buck as possible. All right, zombies, come on over here, please. There's an Energy Mine. Use it. Ooh, that did pretty good. Did it take out our Panzer? No, but it got him pretty low. Please shoot the gun. Uh-uh. Run. Run. Oh, this is bad. The ZRG is basically just not even a weapon. It's, it shouldn't even be here. You miss one shot with it, you're basically dead. That definitely did not go as well as I thought it would, but we got to take advantage of this insta-kill and try to get some nice damage on this Panzer. No, 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 no. Not the other way around, Panzer. Turn off that flamethrower and say goodnight. Please? Nope. Can't shoot it because it takes fucking 45 hours. To reload this thing. That panzer has so little health. Please, bro. There we go. Okay, our biggest threat to our life are these panzers. They need to go immediately whenever they spawn. I think I should have made this so it's more hip fire accurate than anything. Because the whole trying to aim down sight, like trying to turn and shoot is so bad. And if I need to just turn and like hip fire shoot, I think my attachments are just not built for that. And it's going to be very inaccurate. Like if I just do that. Oh, well, I guess I got a kill there. Right there, it did not, though. Went right past his dome. Damn, these zombies are fast. Here we got our armor level three. That's all we can do for now. And I forgot about disciples. Disciples are going to be even harder to take down. 
I don't even know if the energy mine can hit them if they're up there in the air. So I need to be extremely accurate with my shots. I need to wait for him to sit still and like start doing one of his abilities. Let's go for it. Nope, completely missed. What about now? Okay, I hit one shot on him, but I really want to hit that mask. Please stop moving, sir. There we go. That's another one. Still not masked, but we take it. Oh, there's another one. This is impossible. Oh, there we go. Hit the mask. Next shot should take him out. There we go. And now we can energy mine the crew. Ooh, fucked them up. Now, once we get to the point of having 250 salvage, we have to make a decision on whether or not we're going to save to upgrade our ZRG to gold, which I think probably is not the best move. And we will get higher damage for a few rounds, but ultimately it's going to end up where we're not doing as much damage as we need to. And the ZRG is going to be irrelevant to our strat. Or two, we can use that salvage on self revives because we're going to go down at some point here. And our only way to get back up is going to be these self revives. So I think we should just, you know, put all of our salvage and save it and put it towards self revives. No point in upgrading. Okay, with insta kills, we can just knife these zombies. But the bad part about insta kills, we cannot get our energy mine, which is awful. That's like our, our main thing we're using to get through these rounds. So I'm going to try to only pick up insta kills when there's elites around like that disciple who just got absolutely destroyed. So insta kills are going to be sparingly useful. It's going to be super situational. And now the ZRG isn't even killing. It's round 19 and I'm just getting nothing but hit markers with this. So yeah, it would definitely be a bad option to upgrade our ZRG because we'd only be getting like some kills with our gold ZRG probably until like round, I don't know, 25 or something. That's... I feel like that's being generous. But what we could do, since this thing's only hit markering, we can go over here. Let's try activating this trap. We can at least get some damage on these zombies. Disciple, fuck off. So I can just try to train around in here. Why is this trap actually doing well? I've never seen a trap in Cold War actually do well besides Mule Kick. This is getting a lot of kills. Oh, this is going to be our strat for the next few rounds. I'll be using this till it don't work. And then when this one's on cooldown, we can come over to this one and launch this. All right, we've made it 20 rounds in, 21 rounds in. So far, so good. Just very slow. Okay. One thing I want to try here, though. That trap worked very well. And I think I remember vaguely in the past, like some of my first times playing on Mauer, is that if a Panzer goes under the spotlight of a trap, he can almost get locked there. Like the trap will just start shooting at it and then he will not move out from under the light. He'll just sit there and get shot the whole time. So I'm going to try to get him to do that again. And if I remember correct, I did not even have to buy the trap. I just have to get him into the spotlight. But I think I might have to buy the trap to at least dwindle down the round right now. It's getting ridiculous out here. Go ahead, trap. Start shooting. What did I pay you for? There you go. Did I take out the panzer? It did. That's easy. Why is this trap actually good? What? Every other trap in this game sucks. I wish traps just gave you like experience or progress towards your field upgrade. Then we'd be riding so easy through this challenge. We'd be coasting. All right, well, let's test this out. Can an energy mine actually hit a disciple? Well, first, this one's going to die because I don't like how he's looking at me. Never mind. He's life stealing me. And I can't hit a shot. Okay, both of these guys are unmasked. Let's energy mine right here. Oh, it does hit him. Let's go. Doesn't kill him though. They kind of actually, they, they tank the fuck out of that. Okay, there's one disciple down. Oh, is that a nuke? Let's go. I wonder up to what round this trap is going to work. Like if we hit round 30, will it just not do enough damage to kill zombies? Or has this trap been good the whole time? Am I just learning that the stuff that I thought was ass the whole time in Cold War is actually good? Is everything good in Cold War besides the CRG? This thing don't do shit because the energy mine's killing. The trap is killing. I, I, my whole outlook on Cold War has changed this game. You know what? I just want to put this out there. I think these kind of challenges are a lot more fun than just like use this, do this, and then get round 100. Because for me, recording these, like if it were to be like, oh, use the ZRG and jug only and get to round 100. If I were to even like do it or get close, it'd be around like four hours, maybe even more since it's a ZRG. Like you guys have seen how slow this thing shoots. And if I were to fail anywhere in there, like even if I got up like really close to round 100 and I failed, I'd have to do the whole thing all over again. So I'm glad that I don't have to spend like eight, 10 hours just recording the video and then spending even more than that editing. But I think for this series, it's just going to be for as far as we can get or how high of a round can we get with whatever, with whatever challenge you guys give us. And we get one attempt. Unless the video is going to be like two minutes long. Then we might do more than one attempt. But 
I'm sure this one will be fine. All right, we're reaching the point where the ZRG has become more useless than I could ever imagine. Just look at how little damage this thing does to a Disciple once I can get a shot. All right, right here. 103 damage, 190 damage or something like that. That was only three digit damage. That is brutal. Oh, wait, was that a thousand? Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe these just have so much health now. That one did not say, but it was a good shot. That one was 1100. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but it's still taking like four or five upwards to 10 shots to kill a special enemy, which is ridiculous. Oh, we're getting manglers now. That's going to be annoying. They're just going to mess up my train with their little impulse shot. It's going to just knock all the zombies over. So trap, you know what to do. Take them out. No, no. Energy mine, go. Woo, almost died there. All right, trap, get the mangler, please. Focus on the mangler. The trap did not hit the mangler at all. He avoided the whole thing. He's smart. Oh, got to use another energy mine. Please go off. Woo. Okay, I got to get real... I got. I, I just got to tighten up my training is what I'm trying to say. That's twice I've already had to use my energy mine to save me, and it takes so long to get it back with this thing. Okay, the trap's officially taken out everything but the mangler at this point. It's me versus you, buddy. Don't try to hit me. No, you stay back and you shoot. We'll have a gentleman's fight. And by a gentleman's fight, I mean just get hit by my trap, idiot. Dumbass. Get teabag too while you're at it. This thing can't even one-shot tormentors? Are you kidding me? Ooh. This is bad. It can't even two-shot them. That might have been a coochie shot, but that don't matter. That should do more damage. Yes, me. I gotta hit crits on everything. Oh, get him. Get him. Get that panzer. There we go. He's sleep. Now do the disciple next. Let's go. All right, we're 30 rounds in. And this is looking bad. We haven't gone down yet, which is good. Also, knock on wood. Not going down. But there are a lot of special zombies up, and I do zero damage to them. And I don't have an energy mine. And my trap is cooling down. Unless this trap's ready to go. Let's do it. Come on, trap. Please kill something. There we go. Light them up. I almost completely forgot about lethals and tacticals. I got stuns and C4s here, but I have not used any of them yet. Should I use them? Nah, I think I'm already kind of cheesing it with uh, the traps. Because I think right now we'd probably be dead if I was only using ZRG and Energy Mine. You know, let's try to get through a round just using these two. Let's see if we can do it. This is about to be the longest round of my life. Because we need, what, like 25-something zombies to fill up a full energy mine? I, I don't know if that's accurate. I'm just estimating. And this thing takes 15 shots to kill one zombie. And then it also takes a whole four seconds, maybe even longer, to reload after each bullet. Oh, yeah. This, this round's going to be 45 minutes long. Oh, and that's only counting if I hit every single shot. This is an inaccurate as hell. Uh oh, ooh, very low health. Zombies, if you could stop hitting me, that'd be great. Fantastic, actually. We're almost there on our energy mine. The worst part about this is, is even if we take out this entire horde with an energy mine, there's going to be like three or four of the same size hordes that we're going to have to train up again. Because this is not all the zombies in the round. This is just a max that's a lot of spawn at the moment. Maybe I should target tormentors because I think... They have significantly less health than normal zombies. And then we can fill up our energy mine a lot faster. We just got to not let them blow up on themselves. We have our energy mine. Make sure everybody's trained up and get out of here. There we go. Oh, no. Stay back. Stay away from me. This strat just takes entirely too long. I've been doing this for like 20 something minutes. and I've only been able to use one energy mine. Something's got to give here. All right, there we go. Finally got our second energy mine. There we go. Is that even the round? Nope. Oh, we just have one zombie left. There we go. So that took about like 25 minutes for one round using solely the, GR the ZRG in the energy mine. So I feel like I need to make a decision right here. Can I use the trap or can I use my tacticals and lethals? I think it's probably more skillful to use my tacticals and lethals. So I'm going to go ahead and say from now on, trap off limits. Can't use it. Can't touch it. I got to get a little creative and use my tacticals and lethals. And by creative, I mean train these guys up, throw down a C4 and let that do the rest. Because of course I could sit here and shoot each zombie 45 times. But that's just going to take entirely too long. And I'll be playing this game till I'm 40. So just to speed things up, C4s are going out and I'm already almost down. Four health. Four health. Please don't touch me. Everybody leave me alone. But it is cool that we kind of figured out that the traps here on this map are actually solid. Okay, energy mine, go. Take them out. 
Okay, that did no damage to that Panzer. He spaced it perfectly. He was just outside of the range. I have no armor, basically no health if this Panzer touches me with that flamethrower. And then all these zombies are powered up by Disciples. This is awful. I'm going to throw another rule out there. I can use Tacticals and Lethals, but I can't craft them. I have to only use what's dropped. So I have to be smart with whatever I get. Let's stun these guys. Try to get something in here. Okay, I got about one shot in. Actually, two with the second shot. Missed wide. This is this sucks. This is awful. Give me an energy mine. Not even close. All right, there goes all my lethals. Unless one of them dropped one. Oh, they did. They dropped a molly and a nuke. No, we went down. That's our first down. Here's our stats for our first down. We've made it pretty far so far. Well, let's use our self-revive. Hit the nuke. Did our molly disappear? No, it didn't. We'll grab that. And let's be, try to be as fast as possible and get another self-revive. Support. Self-revive. Grabbed it. That's the only thing we can grab. Probably in the future, I'll make it so I can't grab those. And we literally have to go off just whatever we're given. The series is still new. I'm, I'm working out the kinks. I'm trying to figure out what we can and can't do. What's the limit between hard and then just taking years off my life. And by taking years off my life, I literally mean sitting here and playing the game for way longer than it, I should. Oh no, I only have 30 health and I'm already down again. Damn. Round 30 was the turning point. These zombies are tough. Eat a molly, bitch. Let's throw down an energy mine. Go off, king. Oh no, 67 health. If I can make it out of this round, I'll buy another self-revive. I'm not gonna go snag one right now. We're not just gonna spam them. Oh no, 26 health. No, we're dead. Okay, so the second we stopped using the trap, that got real difficult real fast, but we made it 31 rounds, 820 kills, 267 crits, zero revives, three downs. That was awful. I highly, highly recommend do not use this class. Stay as far away from the ZRG as possible, even... If we had pack a punch on it, it wouldn't have been too different. But that was still pretty fun. I like trying to figure out a way around the challenge. Like if it's not explicitly said in the comment, I'm gonna try to work my way around it. I'll even give you a few things here. Like for them saying no pack a punch, I just decided can't use the machine at all. So that included ammo mods. It's kind of like a puzzle. They give you some pieces and it's like, okay, how far can we get with this? But I think that's gonna end today's video. So if you guys like this, you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And if you want to, you can head on over to my Twitter. Drop me a follow. It means a lot to me. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.